We're up Sheep Creek drainage, uh, actually in Garfield County right now, but it's basically on the border between Garfield and Columbia County. Uh, we're taking out a uh, Mexican national marijuana garden that's uh, down off over the side of the uh, ridge here. It's this particular garden, of course, we have the uh, state patrol uh, teams to help uh, eradicate it, and it's actually going to be brought out by helicopter um, because it's so far down in there and so steep that it'd take a lot of manpower and a lot of time to haul it all out uh, on your back, basically, is what you end up doing. Most of these uh, gardens have camps that are right in the garden. Uh, the people tending the garden are often armed anymore uh, with handguns, rifles, shotguns, and so it can be potentially dangerous. There's a lot of money uh, to be lost when their garden or grow gets eradicated as opposed to going to harvest. I mean, obviously they're here to make money and when we eradicate the grow, uh, obviously that hurts them financially. Uh, you know, it's a huge problem, uh, marijuana. It, it's a large financial gain for the cartels that grow it and it helps uh, provide finances for some of the other drug trafficking uh, of cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin. So it's important to them and so it's important for us, the 6,000 plants is what is there. Yeah, street value could be, you know, around 10 million. Uh, last year, Washington State was number two in the nation for the amount of uh, marijuana that was eradicated outdoors. So this year, um, based on kind of what I'm hearing around the state, it may be less than last year, and maybe that's because of good law enforcement efforts uh, in this state. You know, if we go out and eradicate these grows uh, that hopefully they won't come back into these areas to uh, try and grow their marijuana.